What's up, y'all? It's Jason Latrell. I'm a management consultant for bars and restaurants based in New York City. And um, today um, is day 17 or 18 of this of this series. Uh, but every day I've been going through about how I'm building a new uh, um, optimization, automation, and performance HR system for bars and restaurants um, that I think is going to completely change the game. Um, and so one thing that I learned in the last 24 hours or so is that um, – Everybody, nobody really knows what they're doing. Um, and until you understand that and realize that you don't know what you're doing and it's okay, um, can you release the creative energy that are, is required to figure out what the problem is? Um, and so I've been doing, I've been in the bar restaurant business for 20 years. I've been doing this for a long time. Uh, I was a bartender for more, like about half of that. And, um, and that, um, during COVID, I got into systems and automations. Um, and, um, I kind of learned how to do things and I was kind of producing this commoditized offer, this marketing offer that, um, that pretty much anybody can do with a little bit of software. And so, um, as of recently in the last couple of weeks, um, I was kind of hip to an idea to, um, start to systemize things that involve HR retention, um, training, onboarding, um, and keeping people happy and engaged for a long time. And that's um, br bridging the gap between customer, staff, and management. And so um, with these three elements um, and with uh, gamification with points um, and nudges and all kinds of stuff, um, we're able to uh, build an enriched atmosphere and then have a lot of data reporting with that. So... This week has been about building the systems and then, um, and I kind of, it, this is like a creative space for me. I get to like do a bunch of stuff and I kind of go off on tangents and it's very, very exciting for me. Um, this is, um, this plus coffee equals 18 hour days, um, looking at like typically standing, looking at a computer screen and I'm all about it. I cannot wait to wake up in the next morning, the next morning. Um, I get frustrated when I get tired. Um, and, um, and, uh, and I just love this kind of sprint building, um, of the system because it all makes sense to me. And, um, and the cool thing about the software is that I just have to build it once and then, um, we implement it, we optimize, um, rinse and repeat. And, um, and so it's from a business standpoint, it's a very valuable thing. Um, but more so, um, and especially from reading, um, this book unscripted from J, um, Jay DeMarco, um, you know, uh, I'm actually kind of more thinking about the impact. So I'm not spending money in my mind right now. I'm thinking about like, how is this going to help the people that work in restaurants? How is that going to help them? Because in New York, um, nightlife and, and bars and restaurants are around a $2 billion economic impact. Um, and that's a very meaningful thing to me. That means tens of thousands of jobs are coming and going four out of five bars and restaurants are, are typically going to go out of business. So like I feel and, and without irony or hopefully arrogance, um, that we may be able to make it, uh, may be able to chip away at that problem just a little bit and, um, and reduce that number even by 1%, um, would save millions of dollars for people, you know, like we're talking about people's life savings and stuff. So, this is what's so exciting for me, um, and uh, and I just love talking about it. I love thinking about it. I love the logic behind it. This is my creative space, and I kind of have that feeling that like everything that I've worked on to, in my career to this point, my entire adult life has kind of led to this, and um, and it's I think it's the thing that will make me wealthy. Um, although that's not really what I'm thinking about right now. I'm just I'm thinking about the person with their head in their hands that shows up to work and their key doesn't work in their lock anymore. Um, when I owned a bar for six minutes, that's, um, I did have one of those moments of like, why didn't this work? I it was supposed to work. I was supposed to know this. Um, I, people invested in me and I failed them. And, um, and so that's kind of part of what, um, what I have in mind with this. And, um, and I think we're solving that problem and I get the opportunity to work with a, with a person who knows a lot more than I do about this stuff, who has like some pretty well articulated strategies. Um, and then I'm building a lot of these strategies into, into the system, in addition to some known strategies like the Q12 um, uh, employee response questionnaire, um, the net promoter score surveys, um, I'm building a lot of those like kind of microscopic, like like tiny little um, little surveys that are really extremely low barrier to entry. So like literally just responding with one character in a text mex text message um, will um, will um, give us the information that we need to make decisions. Um, also, um, that was something that I built in the last 24 hours are just um, um, uh, a point system, 
So uh, in case, uh, so this gives the the, the power, right? it gives the uh, a mechanism for um, uh, also build a shift uh, a shift um, a shift report mechanism. And so, like at the end of the shift, um, the manager has an opportunity to recognize somebody for exceptional service and then issue them points on their service. And so these points are uh, ported into a Google Sheet, which is um, which is tallied up automatically. Um, and then they're entered into um, a larger pool of no- it's, they're basically nominated for an award that would be issued quarterly or, or every month or whatever the, the um, client, client wanted to do. Um, but having that kind of recognition makes people want to stay forever. It's like the employee of the month club, uh, except for there's a meaningful piece to it. Um, and so we do co- um, collect points to quantify it. But um, I think it's like, you know, it's just one of those things that like keeps people engaged. I remember, um, loving my job, loving my work. Um, but, um, that time came to an end and, um, and there was nothing, you know, and I was at, I, I think other people may have considered it to be one of the higher levels of, of, of the, the craft, uh, working where I worked. Um, but, um, you know, uh, I don't know, we're just gonna have to figure it out to make it so that it feels good. So it feels authentic and it's real, um, and um, and uh, hopefully um, I will get some experience in the next um, six months. Um, because, I mean, I've o- I've only been doing this for twenty years, so <laughs> what do I know? Um, but there, you know, there's lots of things that are kind of exciting when you kind of break them down into really really small pieces. So that's where I'm at today. Um, it's super exciting. Uh, this is, um, we're calling it kinetic management systems and it's, um, largely software based with, um, a couple weeks of implementation. Um, and, um, if you hadn't heard, um, I'm launching a, uh, um, a newsletter called ops nerd, O P S N E R D. Um, and, um, that's where I'm going to be sharing, showing, um, specifically what, like the workflows that I'm working on and, and what their impact is and how that's going to help bars and restaurants, because there's hundreds of them. I've been building hundreds of workflows that are interconnected. They all talk to each other, but each of them scratch a specific itch. Each of them solves a specific problem. So, um, that is going to be, uh, implemented in the next week or so, um, starting in the next week or so for another client. So until then I'm going to be working, you know, as, as much as I can to get the system right rock solid, beautiful, um, and effortless to implement and, um, and making a major impact on the, on the businesses that we work with. I mean, that just, by the way, um, I found out that most people um, that are into net promoter scores, re- review requests, reputation management, and stuff like that, they have like four or five different pieces of software for this, uh, which by itself is insanity because that means that they're paying for that software and they either don't know how to use it or, um, or it's, uh, kind of lost by the wayside and they're just paying for something that they're not using. So, uh, we're solving that problem too. So, I mean, just the table stakes are going to be a, a zero net cost increase for, for working with the system. So that's all I got for you today. I'll see you next time.